Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, September 27th, 2017. Well, we have another muggy morning out there with temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. With areas of fog earlier this morning, visibility was below 2 miles in some locations. There are a few isolated showers right along the coast with overcast cloud cover. As we move further inland, that cloud cover is more broken to scattered as we move away from the deepest portion of the tropical air mass that's in place. On the radar again, a few isolated showers here and there, but overall not much in the way of an impact. Most locations are dry. On the infrared satellite picture, here's Tropical Storm Maria. It is heading out into the Atlantic and will not have any direct impact on our region, but it is having some indirect impacts and in sending a few isolated showers into the coast but for the most part, keeping the region dry. And the reason why is because on the west side of tropical low pressure systems, you usually have sinking air, and that's pretty much what is keeping us dry for today. A cold front, though, is on the way, and this cold front's pretty much gonna clean house and drive the tropical air mass out of the region and bring much cooler weather to the northern mid-Atlantic by the time we get to this weekend. The cold front itself won't produce much in the way of rainfall, a few isolated to widely scattered showers, but a heavy downpour is possible in a few isolated locations. The bulk of the rainfall with this cold front actually is gonna be in the St. Lawrence River Valley and Northern New England, where you have your strongest lifting. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, variable to overcast cloud cover, a few isolated showers along the coast can be expected. Temperatures will range from the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley and interior. For tonight, Areas of fog will be possible, isolated showers, the cold front moves through. By tomorrow morning, you'll see that cold front push across the region with a few isolated showers and temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s. For tomorrow afternoon though, the temperatures don't rise all that much as cooler air builds in. You're gonna notice a drop in the humidity. And also it's gonna be pretty breezy with winds from the north, northwest at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Look for high temperatures in the mid 70s along the coast and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. By Friday, high pressure will hold on with scattered cloud cover and much cooler weather conditions, lows in the lower to mid 50s, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So essentially by Friday afternoon, our highs will be this morning's lows. So that's pretty impressive. Now on Saturday, a weak low pressure system will move through with a few isolated showers, otherwise scattered cloud cover is expected. Lows in the mid to upper 50s, highs in the mid 60s along the coast and the upper 60s to lower 70s in the Delaware River Valley. On Sunday, high pressure and complete control with clear skies expected. Look for lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid 60s along the coast in the upper 60s to lower 70s in the Delaware River Valley. On Monday, high pressure will start to lift north, but will remain in control with sky cloud cover. Look for lows in the lower to mid 50s, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. On Tuesday, high pressure again locked in over the Canadian Maritimes, building south. Look for sky cloud cover. Look for lows on Tuesday in the mid to upper 50s, highs in the mid 60s along the coast and upper 60s to lower 70s in the Delaware River Valley. And on Wednesday, high pressure again remains over the region with scattered cloud cover expected. Look for lows in the mid to upper 50s and highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast, lower to mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley. That's your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NY and JPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.